Preview, Devin Haney faces the biggest fight of his career to date against veteran, future Hall of Famer, Lomachenko. The moment of truth has arrived for Devin Haney. Until now, the American has remained undefeated, has met his goals one by one and has even gone further by becoming undisputed lightweight champion. However, it is perfectly possible to think that, despite his talent and his effectiveness, he has not yet shown that he is as good as he claims, as he still lacks a high-caliber matchup against a top-level fighter with the skill to truly put him to the test. By chance or fate, Haney has really had to work much less than what most boxers have to reach an undisputed crown, in his contender stage, Haney scored his biggest wins against Zor Abdullah, who had the worst performance of his career in his American debut, and Antonio Moran, while once he took a WBC belt his wins came against very veteran and punished boxers such as Gamboa, against whom he did not shine at all, and Linares and against Joe Joe Diaz, boxer with obvious limitations and who was going downhill without breaks outside the ring. It is true that in the fight for the undisputed title against Cambosos, Haney performed really well, and on top of that twice and as a visitor. Still, it's impossible to deny that Cambosos is one of the worst three-belt unified champions in recent memory and that he has a style completely tailor-made for Haney, as he is not very fast and he is incapable of applying intense pressure and working hard on short range consistently. Thus, battling this Saturday, at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, United States, a future Hall of Famer like Vasyl Lomachenko, there is no doubt that Haney will face the most difficult opponent he has ever had in his career. It is evident that Loma left behind his prime years ago, that he did not have a great performance against Jermaine Ortiz, who had been his sparring partner many times, in his most recent fight and that on Saturday he will face, in his ceiling division a much younger and bigger boxer with a huge advantage in reach. Even so, it would be illogical to compare Lomachenko with boxers like Gamboa, Diaz or Moran, and it should not be overlooked that Linares, in the final stretch of his career and after being knocked out in one round by Pablo Cesar Cano, created serious difficulties for Haney, whom he rocked hard. In fact, while Lomachenko was able to stop Linares in the tenth round years before, Haney won a decision against a very faded version of the Venezuelan. In any case, these are not the only elements that make the Haney-Loma fight not as uneven in favor of the former as some think, since the American has stalled using a single type of boxing against opponents who did not have the physical qualities or the skill to deal with it. That is to say, his jab and clinch tactic has given him positive results against slow-footed fighters, very far from their primes, with little ring intelligence or without the technical and tactical resources to stand up to him, although the Southpaw Lomachenko is an exceptional fighter in this sense, as he is one of the boxers with more ability to outflank and outsmart his opponents of the 21st century. On the other hand, Haney has seemed mentally unfocused in recent months, an example of which has been his absurd insistence in describing the Ukrainian as a dirty boxer an assessment that not even Lomachenko's detractors have shared with him and that could be a sign of insecurity. This contrasts with the motivation of Lomachenko who, although he did not put on his best performance in a non-title fight against Ortiz, has hinted that he could retire if he does not manage to succeed in this final attempt to become undisputed champion. Finally, we must not lose sight of the fact that this is the last fight of Haney's contract with top rank, company that wants to ensure that the winner of Saturday's clash faces Shakur Stevenson next. Therefore, Bob Arum may be more interested in a Lomachenko win, as he is still under contract with top rank, to ease Stevenson's access to a lightweight title fight and keep the divisions for belts under control. Leaving aside the fact that Lomachenko seems to be in great shape and perhaps some might be underestimating him, the tactical key of the bout will be how well the European is able to deal with Haney's jab, his main weapon. Lomachenko may initially have a hard time with it, but if he manages to find a way to, responding to his opponent's jab, use angles, close distance quickly and work with his straight shots and with brief, fast and varied combinations, the matchup could become very complex for Haney. Especially if Lomachenko has trained to exploit his shorter range at close distance before Haney resorts to his ever-present hugs.
there's a chance that Lomachenko won't be able to keep up the necessary work rate for 12 rounds without decisively tiring at this point in his career. Or maybe he just doesn't have any more the footwork and agility to deal with the 5 and a half inches, or 14 centimeters, reach advantage of a fast, athletic boxer in his prime, and Haney will be able to score the win. However, even if Lomachenko can't do his best and comes up short, presumably he'll still have enough on his gloves to generate more difficulties to Haney than any of his opponents to date. The Haney-Lomachenko fight and its main support will be broadcast in the United States through an ESPN Plus PPV that will cost $60 and will begin at 10 p.m. Eastern Time 7 p.m. Pacific Time. In the UK, Sky Sports Main Event and Sky Sports Action will air the full card from 12 a.m. Thanks for watching. More info, news and videos at our website.